I know you guys think I don't review enough budget gear anymore, so I decided to buy a budget red dot I've been curious about for a couple years. The infamous Sightmark Ultra Shot. On the one hand, they can't be that bad because Sightmark has been in business for a long time. But on the other hand, they can't be that good because even though we've collectively gotten over our distrust of Chinese optics and started buying Hollow Suns and Sig Romeos by the pallet load, I still don't see anyone seriously recommending Sightmark products. In order to give Sightmark the benefit of the doubt, I've gone with the top-end model of the Ultra Shot. The Ultra Shot is currently available in three flavors. I guess Sightmark calls it the RAM series. R for range spec, A for advanced spec, and M for, I guess, mil spec. R spec models are kind of gimmicky, and they probably do deserve their reputation as airsoft optics. They have cheap housings and selectable reticles with different reticle colors, which always used to be the dead giveaway of a shitty optic. The A-spec models add night vision settings, and they ditch the green reticle option. The optic looks identical, but clearly is a little more serious than the R-spec. The M-spec drops the selectable crosshair settings and has just the 2 MOA center dot with 65 MOA circle. It's also only available in red. The M-spec does have night vision settings, and it's also got a different profile, a magnesium alloy main housing with an aluminum shield around it. These are supposedly dust and waterproof, they have an automatic off and shake awake features, and the MSRP on the M spec is about 300 bucks. So it retails for significantly more than a budget version of a Hollow Sun or a Sig Romeo, although you can find them for around 200 250 There's also a slightly cheaper version of the M spec model that doesn't have the integrated QD mount. Both models of the M spec sit at the same height, I believe it's essentially absolute co-witness. Inside the box, the M-Spec comes with a neoprene full-body condom, so you can dismount the optic and take it wakeboarding or some shit. It also includes a little combination wrench tool for zeroing and adjusting the tension of the QD mount. At a glance or at low level of detail settings, the Ultra Shot kind of looks like an EOTech, and it does have the same circle dot reticle layout. But the M-Spec is a standard reflector red dot sight, kind of like a Holosun 510. Despite not being a true holographic sight, it still has holographic battery life, advertised as between 200 and 2000 hours. The M-Spec has a 5 minute auto shut off and a shake awake feature. You can disable the 5 minute off and shake awake, which just leaves you with a 12 hour auto shut off. The M-Spec always shuts off at 12 hours regardless, so if it sits long enough you won't be able to pick it up and be able to rock and roll like you can with a Romeo 5 or a Hollow Sun. This optic was proudly designed in Texas, assembled in China. So they have the same approach to patriotism as Apple and Sig Sauer's optics division, I guess. The M-Spec is powered by a transverse mounted CR123, similar to an EOTech EXPS3. This thing is definitely a chunky motherfucker. It's a big optic on a big mount with a big shroud around it. The quick detach version of the M-Spec weighs in at 10 ounces, versus 9 ounces for an EOTech XPS3 or 11 ounces for an EXPS3. The extra 2 ounces on the EXPS models is because of the taller quick detach mount. The QD lever is also pretty weird. It doesn't feel very solid, and it's fiddly to get it to lock in place. If you want it to stay put, you have to really crank on it to get it to lock, and you have to fuck with it to get it to unlock. Hollow Sun's QD system isn't top notch, and it's still better than this. The M spec also has a gimmicky retractable sunshade. What the fuck is this? Don't put this shit on your mil spec optic. The adjustments on the Ultrashot M-Spec are 1 MOA per click, which is coarse even for an ersatz holographic like this. Probably not coarse enough to be an issue, unless you're planning to shoot at longer ranges with a magnifier a lot. I mounted the Ultrashot M-Spec to my 12.5 mid-gas AR pistol, which is the test mule for optics and accessories that I don't want to come into contact with my much nicer guns. I shot the Ultrashot M-Spec on the 12.5 a bit at close range, and more extensively at longer range from 150 to 250 yards. Then I dropped it on the PTR-91 for a short interval high intensity test. I shot it using a Hollow Sun flipped aside magnifier for both guns. This is far from long term or destructive testing, but deliberately breaking things outside of lab conditions to get clicks on YouTube is far from scientific, so I feel okay about it. The Ultra Shot M Spec reticle is a 65 MOA circle with 2 MOA center dot. 
More specifically, the circle is 60 MOA and the lines extending out from it are an extra 5 MOA. The reticle gets plenty bright and it does seem very crisp. It also looks pretty good under a magnifier, if you can fit a magnifier behind this massive log of shit. People with astigmatism usually report that a circle dot reticle looks cleaner than just a simple dot due to some quirk of the human eyeball. That is how it works for me, but every eye is different. I don't think it really matters though, it's a red dot. Cover the bad guy with the blob and pull the trigger until the problem goes away. The M spec is advertised as having parallax correction past 10 yards. I did a side-by-side -side comparison of parallax at about 100 yards with the M spec, a Romeo 7, and an Aimpoint Pro. The sight mark appears to have virtually zero parallax at that distance, despite how big the window is, which means your head position can vary significantly more than on a smaller optic. Not too shabby. Makes me wonder what the fuck is wrong with the Trigicon MRO. As for the night vision performance of the M-Spec, it's also pretty good. The big window really does help give you extra light transmission, and the brightness levels are sufficient to cover a variety of different lighting conditions. Unsurprisingly, the M-Spec is better than a Sig Romeo 5 under NV. The glass clarity and coatings may be superior, but the window size is definitely superior. The Romeo 5 might as well be a solid black circle in dim conditions, and even the lowest NV setting blooms pretty badly. What is surprising is that the M-Spec is better under NV than an Aimpoint Pro, which is the optic that I've considered to be the bare minimum entry-level optic for night vision use. Again, I don't know if it's just window size or if the glass and coatings come into play here, but the M-Spec is significantly clearer than an Aimpoint Pro. Not that you should trade an aim point for a sight mark. There are a bunch of other reasons to stick with the Pro. The placement and height of the M-Spec didn't work very well for me when trying to shoot under night vision. The M-Spec is absolute co-witness height like an XPS EOTech, not lower third like an EXPS or my aim point Pro. I could really only get a sight picture if I held my AR out in front of me, so it may need a riser for optimum placement, which adds more weight and more bulk. I also had an issue with the side-mounted buttons on the Ultra Shot. It's pretty easy to bump them if you let the rifle hang from a sling. A few times in my short testing, I accidentally put the M-Spec in NV mode without realizing it. EOTechs with the side-mounted buttons have them mounted below the surface of the optic, which should prevent accidental activation, but in my experience, it doesn't really help. It's just not a great place for buttons for most right-handed shooters, and the buttons on the M-Spec stick out pretty far from the side of the optic, and the optic sticks out pretty far from the side of your gun. Overall, I'm very surprised by the sight mark. Okay, maybe not surprised, but I wasn't horrified by it. Some aspects of this optic are surprisingly good, and others are predictably bad. I think sight marks low-end sights kind of poison the brand for people. We know, thanks to Holosun and SIG, that it's easily possible to make duty-grade optics for cheap. A SIG Romeo 5 absolutely shits on the whole bottom end of the Airsoft red dot market, and they cost less than 120 bucks right now. The sight mark M-Spec isn't total garbage. But is there any reason to buy one? I don't think so. The Sig Romeo 5 is still the benchmark budget red dot. It does everything but night vision better than the M-Spec for half the price, half the weight, and a much better reputation. Not to mention 25 times the battery life. Basically, every question you want to ask about the Ultra Shot can be answered with the word no. Hey, is this thing actually any good? No. Is it as bad as everybody says? No. Should I buy one? No. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.